Hey everyone guys, my name is Max and today I will show you Opal from Google. This is a new AI service that will create AI agents for you. As you can see here, build, edit and share mini AI apps using natural language and it's pretty beautiful. This video is about how it's working. I will show you how to create your first AI agent here and what's kind of the tricky and complex stuff we can create. So stay tuned, stay with me till the end of this video. Here we have gallery. Gallery is pre-created apps that you can use. You can try actually, but I don't want to wait it's time for here you can try by yourself but what i really want is to create a new app so tap here create new and let's see the interface here okay this is how it looks like here you can see the name of your app and you can leave it like this because it will be automatically named depending on your prompt here that you will put here of course we have two tabs app and editor right now inside app we we don't see anything and you can see here your app will appear here once it's built so right now it's not built we need to build it we have two ways how we build apps here in opal first of all we can do it by ourselves we can use this input we can do some stuff inside but of course here we want to try it with the help of this input let's just paste something here and see but but firstly we have here user input generate for example user input generate and output it's kind of the three separate kind of blocks and we can add some assets more looks really beautiful in terms of design but i don't really understand is it enough to build complex system or is just to play you know to play around here we have uh, preview preview of our app console and theme i like this theme let it be like this so right now i want to paste my prompt here in this input I have prepared prompt in advance just to not to waste your time guys of course i made it here and enter okay now it's thinking and now this stuff is getting this information is creating it to prompt language and boom right now we have we, we have a lot of steps we have topic social network done language all of the stuff going here inside generate social media post and here we have display generated post as you can see it's already done it's, it, it was like 30 seconds to implement this information so how much time you need to do the same in edit and i believe at least 10 or 20 minutes but it was 30 seconds man let's see how it works let me tap start here enter the topic for your post okay of course it will be ai agents and let's send it and you can use your voice by the way okay and let's send it choose your target social network guys i've just i've just put the prompt and that's it and you can see right now it's the whole app with the ui in edit and we don't have ui here is we have this is a beta or maybe alpha but here i can see it's just an experiment it means that this platform will be reworked in some cases and uh, here is a ton of work that needs to be done to finish it but looks really nice looks looks really nice okay let it be x twitter okay specify the desired tone optional let it be just friendly tone of voice specify the language optional english let's go now we can see here what's going on tap on the console we we have finished with topic social network done language generated social media post display generated post and uh, we are using gemini okay what's going on here okay it's done <laughs> social media feed everyone blah 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 platform tone language charts second one the third one the fourth one the fifth one so we can see here cool great great i really like that i've spent around 30 seconds to wait while it will be working right but actually i've spent a, a bit more it was one or two minutes to prepare prompt with the chat gpt5 then i just put it here and my agent is working maybe it's not so great because i'm not using the sample prompts uh, sample posts but anyway it's working and it's working really fine it's been built for me automatically in just 30 seconds and i can put here to to improve it let me show you something more complex that i've implemented yesterday this is the more complex stuff that i wanted to create with this ai agent builder opal from google right i wanted to create ea agent 
that every morning will scrape the news from AI world. AI services, AI startups, AI news, everything, everything, just scrape everything. Filter it and find the most interesting for me and the most viral if I want to prepare, for example, videos for this. I've made just one prompt and put it here in Opala. And I got this for magic blocks. I don't know why, but it works really great. It's insane. Let me show you the blocks step by step. The first block is research and filter AI news. Uh, inside this block, we have separate mechanisms, separate logics, right? The first one is search web, search maps, get web page, and get weather. Get weather, I, I don't know why, man, just let, let it be here. Uh, the next one, format news summary, research and filter AI news. And the next one is save it to Google Sheet. That's really great. By the way, I have not set up any stuff inside Google Sheet. It, it was done under the hood automatically just for me. And the second one, generate HTML output. And here we can see a huge table with news. The main problem with this stuff is uh, waiting time. It was kind of the 30, 40 minutes that was waiting uh, this process, but it, but it was done. It was really in the cool quality, but this is the issue that needs to be fixed by uh, Opal team. Anyway, but let me show you the results, of course. This spreadsheet was done automatically for me with hook, why it's worth a video and link. You can see here hooks and it's really great hooks. Tap on pause and read it. It's really nice. A lot of uh, arguments why I need to create video about this and links, links to the source of truth, source of these articles. And it's really nice. In the end of the day, we have new service named Opal. This service can create AI agents for you without any code, without any blocks, without any stuff, because right here you can see you can, you can tell me that, Max, this is the blocks and you have to create something with these blocks. Yeah, you're right, but this is how our app is looks like, right? So we can just tap on start and it's going to be started. Here in editor, we can just see these blocks. Inside each block, we have a lot of logic. We have prompts, we can change the, these prompts if we want here the same here here the same stuff and what i suggest you right now just open opal and try to do something try to create new ea agent that you have created already on the n8n because this ea agent has been done in n8n by me but it took a lot of time like two or three hours but here it was, I don't know, 30 or 40 seconds. Actually, if you want to see more videos about Opal, I can, I can show you a lot of different cases, how we can create beautiful EA systems inside this app. Just let me know, hit subscribe, tap on the like button, and I have my community. You can just join and ask me whatever you want, and I will help you with Enid and or Opal. My name is Max. Thank you for watching.